Hello, and welcome back to some Ring of Pain, back where it all started. I have, uh, you know, seen your comments about a new update that dropped. I know um, a bunch of people were able to pick up the game for free off of uh, some different launchers, so I figured I'd come back, I'd check it out. I'm totally blind. As far as this exact second, the only thing I know is just what this says, so multi-class update. Don't know what that means, don't know what's been added. I thought it might be fun to kind of just jump in and experience it together. Um, so before we even get started, uh, if I miss anything that, you know, you find particularly exciting about this update, let me know, let me know down in the comments. Um, you know, just feel free to like post what your favorite part of this is because chances are I might miss something. Um, we will open this up real quick, the multi-class update, just to see, get kind of like an overview of what changed. Um, all right. So this update is themed around set synergies. Very cool. New light item to unlock. Awesome content adapted from the community suggestions as always love that 10 new items 10 new achievements more bug fixes all right cool so it looks like we have set synergies and items um which is very exciting so i think i'm going to leave it on a medium run and i think we will go double candle and we'll just maybe rock a random item Okay, game one clarity on kill if you have three or fewer items equipped. I'm cool with that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, they got some October themes going on. I love it. All right. So, uh, let's start with a little bit of defense. And see what we get. So, the souls might be nice. We are going to be building clarity. It does tank our defense, though. Um, we actually have some good speed, too. Maybe we just lean into the Amber. And we'll reroll that for now. Ferocity or Jewel for some more speed. Are we going full speed build? That could be fun. Um, all right. And we are back in it. It's been a while since I picked up this game. Um, I really, like, once I started playing it for content... I didn't really play it a whole lot myself. Um, let me make sure I hop out of here. All right. Uh, ooh, for negative attack. We haven't picked up any extra attack yet, so maybe we can go a speed insidious build. That would be fun. Um, but yeah, so it's been a while since I've even touched this game. But uh, I'm kind of okay with that. Like, I've, I've learned over time that I cannot do things unless I want to do them. So, and I know that, like, probably seems obvious, but I didn't really recognize that in myself. Um, oh, we're actually not getting a whole lot of value out of that passive anymore. That's all right. So, like, if I wasn't really feeling Ring of Pain, I couldn't necessarily just force myself to play it. Um, which I think is for the better. Like, I shouldn't be forcing myself to do anything I don't want to do, so. Uh, we'll go ahead and re-roll that. We're trying to avoid the attack right now. Plus one poison resistance. Could be all right. We could get some clarity going this way. Probably not too worried about clarity, honestly, if... Uh, I think I'd rather have defense. Oh, right. And a reprieve could be really nice. Wishful would be great for our scavenger since the passive's dead on it. And jewel would also be nice to toss in there. And we could even toss our chest piece as well. So we'll do that guy. We'll do this one. And... Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll get rid of the porous shell. It's nice having the slots open. And chest is usually a pretty impactful slot, so. Alright, where are these new, uh, where are these new items at? Ooh. We will... So we take no damage, but we're not going to kill them anyways. Alright, let's go for this. Still didn't hit us. Wait a minute, is that literally the door right there? But he dies this turn, right? Yeah. Cool. 
Um, we'll just move away from him. I don't think I can get him. I probably... No, I couldn't have gotten him back to the triad there. We don't want to attack. Uh, we'll go a little bit more clarity, see if we can get some souls rolling. And... What do we got here? We got another invulnerability. So maybe we... Come over here, smack this guy, and then go back for it. And now we should actually kill him. I should have just stacked him again because I think we kill him immediately. Um, so we'll grab a barrier. Free item. Always nice. Uh, we do want less attack, so we'll grab that prismatic. And we'll do the same thing with this guy. Uh, we will attack him again. And then, can I, yes, so I can do this, sacrifice the health, and then heal up to full. Cool. All right. I don't think there's a whole lot to be said about this room. All right, what do we got? Reduce the cost of rerolls by one for every two negative clarity. I don't know if this was in the last time I played. That's actually pretty neat. So we have a bunch of clarity. But we could get rid of three by trashing that. But it also gives us attack. That's not really what we're shooting for. Haggler's Gloves, uh, it's not bad, but we kind of need the defense. I think Buckler's just a solid pickup for now. Reaper's Heart, if uh, you're new to the channel, this was a suggestion made by yours truly that uh, ended up making it into the game. So that's kind of a fun little piece of, uh, of Ring of Pain history, I guess, that I'll always be attached to. So Unsuccessful Stealth. Crit chance is increased by your stealth chance for the next attack. Um, pretty neat item. It's uh, a lot of fun with stealth builds. Uh, not that I play stealth builds a whole lot, but like I said, the stats are decent on it, and it's uh, it's just a fun item in general. Okay. So he's going over here. So we're going to attack that rat and then just start making our way. Um, we'll grab this, because there's no reason not to. They don't explode yet, but this might be, yeah. I should have seen that coming. Uh, we'll grab this, and we're having this heal one on kill. Uh, we'll pick it up, and then we'll salvage it. Oh, whoops. Destroy target item. Okay. So we're kind of giving ourselves a hard time with this uh, poison build we got going, but we'll make it work. Mm. He's going to die. I think he should as well. Not quite. That's all right. So we'll go some more defense, and we'll kill him off. So we're faster than him anyways. So I don't think... I think the only th new thing I've seen so far is the dealer's hood. Oh boy, we got an amalgam. Alright, so I actually want him to eat this guy. You know, maybe I didn't want that. <laughs> uh, we're going to move because he's, he's trying to attack. We're going to heal. And then I think... Because he has a chance to do four damage to us per turn, right? How many turns would it take for me? At least four or five. And four times four is going to already be more than my max HP. So maybe after he eats that explosive. But now he's going to be stronger anyways. Um, I can't tell if I want this item or if I want to scrap it. These we would have enough, I believe, at that point for a purple. I think we're going to try scrapping it. Oh, we can actually still make this work? Alright, now we can. Um, do we kill here? Yes. 
but he got consumed anyways. That stinks. All right, we're just uh, kind of on the run this this room. We're gonna grab a freeze. We're gonna loop our way around again to get the potion, and then we decide whether we want patience or crossroads. I'm gonna go patience because we should have guaranteed treasure in there with the chance of a perp. Um, so we're gonna definitely gonna go to the right. Get ourselves a free item. We do not have anything to replace our mask with yet. We don't want attack anywhere. Uh, heal one. This item item effects gain plus one on kill. Reset on use. That's pretty interesting. That's actually that's really good. I'm pretty sure this is a really solid item. Heal one. Item effect gains plus one on kill. Yeah, you're just getting like a free potion basically over time. That also can be like a huge burst heal. Uh, sure, we'll grab the clarity. I don't mind grabbing that. We're going to put ourselves back down to zero attack, which is good. We have to start building into some negative attack. There's really no reason for us to even bother killing these right now because our offense is so limited. Okay, so we're going to freeze him straight up because I don't want to deal with that. And now we need to figure out how we're actually going to navigate this room. I'm going to mix it up. He's not going to blow up yet. He's going to blow up next turn. We're kind of hitting that threshold where we're moving away from too much. We do get a negative attack here, which is nice. I'm actually going to try dipping into the clarity as well. And we can get health. All right, cool. Um, does this not tell you how much it's going to heal you for? Oh, it does, but it's blocked by the tooltip. No! <laughs> It's, it's right here over my health, but it's blocked by the uh, by the tooltip. I got a kill, right? Item effect gains plus one on kill. Reset on use. But it looks like it says one behind it. It's only three attacks, let's see. Yeah, it still only healed one. Hmm. I've certainly killed something, right? I don't want to attack him because I don't want to release him. We'll grab another item here. That gives us even more attack, so we certainly do not want that. I want to keep this life store for now because I'm interested to see how it works. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, we'll nullify range attacks. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. And now we actually have some poison, so we might be able to kill some things here. Uh, he will not die yet, but we can attack first. Oh, he will. Never mind. Forgot how poison works. Um, item effect gains plus one on kill. That's definitely not working. Right? I'm not crazy. This isn't working properly. Item effect. I'm assuming it's talking about this item, right? Like life store should gain plus one on kill. Reset on use. But it's only giving me one. I can see it's only going to put me up to nine. But I've killed... What? I killed this I killed the spike one of these spike spinebacks. Um and I think I also killed something else. Like that definitely should be going up. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like that needs to be uh ironed out a little bit, but not the end of the world. We're just having fun with it after all. We don't have much defense, so we're gonna hop out. Volatile I think this is the explosive one. Yes. So, we will try our best to actually, this is going to be kind of complicated, kind of quick, because of the way these guys are spaced out. And unfortunately, I can't really bait him into this guy unless, I guess I could just let him explode on me. Because I wanted to attack this one to explode to damage the uh, Visca twins, but <clears throat> I think we're achieving the same goal either way, so I'll just heal up now. And then... 
I can kill you. Free purple, that's what's up. Alright, what do we got? Possessed robe and vine grip gloves. Neither of those are new. Um, we don't really have any... Oh, we do have dodge chance, actually. So that would be a 40% chance to inflict 5 curse. If I wasn't already building into uh, clarity, that could be kind of fun. Um, let me make sure I'm recording. Yeah, I am. All right, cool. All right, neither of these are new. So we can definitely get rid of life store because this whole slot occupied by a one health heal is not very good. Destroy a potion and apply six poison to neighbors. That's pretty solid for us right now because we're building into that poison. Um, we're going to mix that up. He will die. And then we'll take a we'll take a, another freeze. And then we're probably gonna leave him be. Um sixty-four percent chance to reduce us all the way to one HP. Uh, we're gonna say no. <laughs> I don't, I don't really gamble. If I would have been paying more attention and knew that this was going to be a shop, I definitely would have done it. Not that it would have mattered anyways, unless I want to buy this item, which I do not. That doesn't matter. No harm, no foul. All right. We are now in not so great of a position. But if we can actually stack up a little more poison before we go back and try and deal with them, we could kill them. Take no damage is solid. Uh, we'll let the poison be just kind of do his thing. Actually, we could use this, right? And then he's just straight up dead. So that's handy. We might be able to get enough for that chest yes sweet oh my we really need defense like we need defense so bad <laughs> cool so let's grab ourselves a purple hopefully something good oh we don't need defensive items that give us attack <laughs> oh man we are just getting the rough end of it today All right, we're going to discard. We're on the back foot. All right, so we got one potion in here that's going to heal us for nine. So we'll heal to full no matter what. All right, not a problem. And we'll just mosey on through. That's perfect. We needed the defense. We're already building into speed and more poison. Or Insidious. Such a classic build. This is probably one of my favorite items in the game, honestly. I love the I, I just love the like the the concept of gaining more damage by having a negative stat offensive stat. I think it's kind of funny, but in general too, poison is just a lot of fun. Um we're gonna mix this up because he was chasing us. We are definitely gonna kill you straight away. Oh my, please just die. Thank you. We still haven't taken any damage from any of those range characters, so that's pretty solid. Um, we're going to go for more clarity here, because I feel like I have to make up for um, missing out on some of the souls that we passed up earlier by not killing things. What do we got? We got a volatile and a crossroads. I think we might try the crossroads. Uh, we're actually going to use this. And we have our freeze. So we actually want to do this. No, because I want to freeze. Well, actually, we don't need to freeze him because we could do this, right? And then poison him. And then take no damage this turn and then attack. Yeah, and now he's just dead. Cool. Uh, I'm going to save up my souls. I think I want a purple item of actual, of, of greater use. This has been amazing. I never really used Perilous Intent before, 
Um, but it's actually, it's coming in clutch here. It's kind of what's nice about, like, coming back to this game after so long is I get to view the whole game with a set of fresh eyes again. We don't have a lot of health, so I'm probably not going to take instability. Um... Transcendence is kind of a death sentence, only because our negative attack is is what's given us literally any chance of doing anything right now. All right, so nothing else moving in the room. Uh, we'll just do this guy. We'll mix the room up. Free gold, that's what we're talking about. Cool. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage here, just because we have Supposedly another potion that we're going to be able to use. Oh, goodness. Doubles our clarity. So we get a net gain off of that, right? Because it's what? It's 16. But it doubles all the other items that we have. I mean, we w I guess we might as well. That saves us some rerolls for the gold. Just take another look around the room. And <coughs> excuse me, I think we'll just heal up. We'll grab this gold, see what it is. Uh, attack targets get randomly teleported. Attacks inflict a random status effect. Mm, I don't really want to give up that health and. This is decent, but I don't want to gain any attack. Healing becomes... Healing Missing Health becomes Petrify. We're pretty much out of uses of our Dissipating Mist, so this could be good. And we do heal one on kill, although I would be looking to get rid of that. Do I just reroll one more time? Let's do it. Alright, Channeling Belt. So every five turns, randomly transform front card stat boost, potion, or scroll into a different one. Alright. Or seeing double. Seeing double is actually pretty good as well. And we get a ton of clarity off of that. Right, because we are actually getting double our double clarity actually was affecting this as well. So, yeah, we're going to get seeing double for sure. So now, we'll wait until he's a freebie. And I don't really think there's a reason to attack you. We don't need the souls. We've got plenty of clarity now. If we need souls, they'll come to us. All right, let's get some defense. Um, we're gonna let this guy do his thing. We freeze here and attack first, so we're good to just kill him. Oh, gosh. I forget, do these give us actual health when we pick up health? Kind of want speed, though. Alright, so let's grab HP first, and then we'll grab speed to keep us topped up on speed. Um... I think we just go for this now because I don't want to have to loop around again. Ooh, and we can't re-roll. Alright, so heal yourself for the amount of petrify applied to a target creature or capture a potion in a scroll for later use. <whistles> Are either of these better than our Perilous Intent? Our Perilous Intent is kind of huge with our Poison build right now, so I don't think so. Oh, that was a nice... Uh... <laughs> Excuse me, a little coincidence there. Um, he has the potential to kill us. Let's grab this potion and mix the room up. I wanted to see what this is. Hmm. 60% chance. I feel like I'm willing to take that bet, right? All right, we dodged it. So now he's going to die. And I think we just call it. 
I actually took two 60% chances without even acknowledging the second, so. We'll just keep running it. All right, wishful. This is where I always get flamed for missing something that was obvious. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Buckler is an easy one. Uh, yeah, might as well get rid of that as well. And then... I think I like everything else. We could get rid of Prismatic. We don't really need that extra one damage anymore, right? This is still kind of helpful, because we don't have crazy speed. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of Prismatic. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure Phoenix Gift was already in the game. Um, when I last played... And I would pick it up. I'm just a little spooked. Well, I don't even have the, the cash, so I guess it doesn't matter. But the one reason that I'm hesitant is because plus six to random primary stats may screw our uh, our negative attack. So, oh baby, we got a big pumpkin boy. Uh, we will maybe see what's over here. Yeah, so we'll detonate both. I'm good with that. We'll grab some more defense. There should be plenty of monsters in here for us to be able to pick up that chest. Unless, of course, there's something else we want. Um, he doesn't really pose too much of a threat. And we could actually just let him die. 160. Oh, gosh. All right, that worked out. Oh, baby, that's a big boy. All right, so let's see. Oh. We don't love this. Um, hmm. We could just pass and see if we can kill him. Or we can just save the health we have. Because how much are these guys worth? 16, 14, so that's 30, so that brings up to 145. And then I don't know if we're actually going to be able to kill him. We might if this is a... If that was a big potion, he dies for sure. Do we just mix it up and risk it? Maybe? Well, now he's been protected by treasure, so that kind of stinks. 50% chance. If I knew what this scroll was, I'd be way more willing to go for this. Um, and I also don't know what this monster is. I guess we could just attack once and we dodged. Actually, we have a nice mixture of dodge and parry chance right now, too. So I got to keep that in mind. We'll grab the detonate. We sort of kill here for free. Um, okay, so what would this guy... He would give us, what, 16 and then 16. So that give us another 32. So these guys are worth killing. Um, and then we'll actually just... We have a 78% chance to heal off that, so I'm going to take the risk. Cool. And then we get our gold chest. Nice, that worked out. Carapace. All right, what's this? On equip, plus one health, plus one attack for each item in your most... Wait a minute. Oh, this is one of the set bonuses. Okay, so on equip, plus one health and plus one attack for each item in your most equipped set. And the sets are... Um, I don't think I can actually see the tooltip here for them. Yes, I can. All right, so in the top left-hand corner of each item, you see that little icon? Uh, like that looks like, a, like an assassin. This looks like an assassin. That looks like the stars or the compass. So we get one health and one attack for each item in our most equipped set. So in this case, it would be the star set that we have there, the compass set. Um, so this is actually a really, really good item. This item's 
fantastic. But, unfortunately, we can't really make much use of it because we don't want to attack. But, theoretically, right? So, plus one health and plus one attack for each item in your most equipped set. If you had a loadout that was more full than what we've got here, and it was mostly of the same set, you could gain what? This is giving you 3 HP already. So that's 3. So then you get 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's say you're missing a couple. So you could get 12 health off of this alone and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 attack off an item that also gives you defense. And speed is kind of easy to dump if you're not like trying to build into it. So that's a really cool item. Um, chests are free, no soul gain on kill. I sort of want that just because we already spent the, the money on this chest. It does hurt our poison build a little bit, but I think that's okay. I think I'm more interested. I mean, we could always swap it out too, right? Uh, gain souls for explode damage. Uh, I don't... I, I like the HP. I don't like the defense that we're losing. Because we're also going to lose defense if we ever get rid of this. I don't want to go Living Helmet because Crown of Clarity is kind of giving us some big numbies right now. Uh, it's effective health versus our prots. It does give me some more wiggle room, and it gets our speed back up. I'm going to grab it, actually. All right. We don't want to attack. And then... This kind of splits the difference. We lose our speed again, but we gain... Even... We gain defense. And... We get some more HP. Or, well, we lose HP, but we have more HP than we had to, to start. And we get a little bit more crit and... uh and dodge, that's actually not bad. And we're not gaining souls anyways right now because of this, right? Gain no souls on kill. Okay, so we could probably still get souls from... Well, four explode damage taken. I don't want to take any explode damage. Alright, so lots of treasure in here. We attack here first, but the poison... Won't kill until after. We actually need to go now because these guys are going to cause us some trouble. Maybe not, actually. Because we've got a fair amount of dodge chance and 60% parry chance. I actually want to freeze the other one. Oh, right. And of course, there's double vision. Or seeing double. We'll grab that. Um, oh. I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer. Um, oh, I didn't think about that. That also affects our reroll ability. Um, what did we have that was... Oh, we have a bunch of clarity. So our soul gain is kind of being wasted, but we do get a bunch of crit chance and the curse resistance heal bonuses. So it's still not bad to have. I'm going to see if I can use this. I can't, so there's nothing in the room that's explosive. We're going to hit him. And then swap. This is a free kill. Uh, plus five poison on attack. I mean, why ever not? <laughs> um, we take a lot of damage here, but I think I'm okay with that. Am I okay with that? Not if we don't have to, right? I definitely want the defense here. Uh, fire beads and poison beads no longer move towards you. We lose health, gain defense. We can kind of sacrifice the health right now, and we lose the attack, and we get our soul gain back. So that's actually not bad. We probably won't be able to afford this chest. Whoa. Interesting. <laughs> so... Uh, I never knew this about the item that we just had before, the feathered cuirass, or 
I forget what it was called. Feathered Friend, maybe? I'm not sure. Anyways, um, so if you have that feathered torso that we had before, and you enter a room, it locks the chests in at that price, even if you change out the chest, which is pretty cool. That's just a straight upgrade. I feel it's kind of, it kind of sucks that we haven't really gotten any of the new items or like been able to use them because of the particular build we got, but not the end of the world. Um, I'm going to pick up Explosive because I just like it more than the other we had there. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite us. We're going to try this ambush. This is actually potentially risky, but... All right, so we're actually just going to use this on the off chance that something bad happens. Sweet. All right. Um, excess killing damage becomes soul damage. Don't really care about that. I don't want any attacks. So I don't want pole arm. Oh, minus four attack, but we lose out on this whole shebang. So that's not great either. Uh, defense is positive. Gain attack and lose defense equal to incoming damage. So that works really well with a speed build. We'll reroll it one more time. Frost root, freeze, and snare front cards. I'm good with that. I like frost root. All right. Uh, we'll just go ahead and heal up there. I think I overhealed a little bit, but it's fine. We're doing some massive poison damage now. We will take that damage because we can likely just heal up. These no longer move towards us, so we can just let him do his thing. We'll grab some speed, because why not? And this should give us enough. Nope, not quite. All right, so do we just wait for what round are we on? We're on depth twelve. Um, I think we'll just save up. Gold items are fun. Double soul gain, if below negative five clarity. For face value, that looks like garbage. But it probably works really well. Oh no, double soul gain, right. So if you are gaining a lot on kill or on from other means, this could be really good. Because obviously that's not going to be great if you're just, uh, you know, getting like the negative, how would I put it? It's not great if you have a negative clarity build because you're not really getting any souls to begin with. Um, but if you have other ways of getting souls, this is actually pretty good. Um, we sacrificed some stats. But we get big poison damage out of it. Man, toxins and freaking poison sword are crazy. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Alright, so now we might have speed issues, but that should be fine. Um, here we will take, I'm going to take clarity because I'd really like to try and rush a couple more. Oh God, that's an amalgam and he is pissed. Oh, there's two of them. Hello. That one's going to be a monster. All right, so we're going to frost root him and then we dip. All right, so what do we got? Let's go more defense. I don't really care about speed anymore now that we've kind of dipped on it. Uh, we'll hit the we'll hit that from the other side. Oh, all right, never mind. Um, a free chest, huh? Hmm. I feel like the free chest isn't, like, all that worth just because we have explosive. But if we happen to get into a room that has two gold chests, I'd kind of be kicking myself for not taking it. So I think we're going to. And then we might as well grab this chest. Why not? All right. Unstable tome. 
So we get plus five poison on attack, or we get... Um, what is it? It's only one... Yeah, it's only plus one poison, so that's a net loss in poison. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, we just reset that. Uh, momentum we don't want. Amorphous mass. Take half damage from melee. That could be pretty good, actually. It does kind of tank our, our defense, though. Scrolls don't uh, get destroyed after use. I mean, come on. Why not? 25% chance. I'm willing to risk it. There's an empty slot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I love these transform moves. Something about the randomness gets me excited. We're kind of just able to steamroll through everything now. Cool. Um, definitely not trading out weekend. Uh, pass one extra card. We can't replace our boots, so that's kind of useless to us. Uh, here we'll just grab Clarity. We'll frost with these guys just so I don't have to deal with the damage from the poison. Suffocate with uh, Memoir could be really dope. So maybe we'll try and use our key in here and see what happens. Between our dodge and parry chance, we just like don't take damage. Like, when we do take damage, we take decent damage, but we don't often take damage. Of course this is free, right? <laughs> I want to take this upgate, but of course it's free. I mean, we have 506 souls now, so maybe we just take this upgate anyways. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We're going to take health, because now we're kind of turning into, like, a tank healing build. Uh, we're going to take that damage, because we have a potion still. take some more health yep and yeah we'll kill you too well it's kind of a bummer that we weren't able to use the key but i'm probably just gonna try uh drop it uh spend 30 souls deal 30 damage that is perfect for our build but i'm just gonna keep frost root because i like frost root and there's other slots we could fill but this is a really good item. Creeping roots and snare effects spread to adjacent creatures. That's actually really good with our frost root, but I hate that it gives us um, all this attack. We could definitely go evasive, though. 40% dodge chance puts us up to 70%. And we still have all our tankiness. And we get clarity back. Lose a little bit of poison damage. Yeah, I'm about it. Uh, we're going to grab the suffocate. And now, is there anything else to wishful? We could wishful this endurance. We don't keep secondary stats when we wishful. At least the last I knew. So this wouldn't do us any good. We could wishful dark pants. Oh, Fountain of Life. Doesn't Fountain of Life... I want to say Fountain of Life can give you an item if you use it enough times. I forget, though. It's been so long. We're going to Wishful. There's almost no reason not to. Um, we'll Wishful the Blockers. We'll Wishful the Dark Pants. And then, could we also Wishful this? We don't really want to wish for that, honestly. And there's pretty much nothing else I would wish for. I would test this, but I just picked it up, so I don't really want to drop it. And I don't oftentimes build into um, dodge, so 
kind of want to have a little fun with it. All right, he's frozen slash dead. And he is also... Now this guy's just going to drop a bunch of poison beads that are never going to be able to attack. Taking a lot of damage from that range creature, but that's all right. Just going to keep moving our way along. We'll frost it again. That item is so strong. Um, we got a potion in here, so I don't mind taking the explosive damage for the souls. Why is everything free? <laughs> everything is free. Are we actually going to take damage because of the odor that I did this? Stop scroungers from fleeing. Scroungers drop plus one card. I think that was also already in the game. Uh, so we're going to reroll. Doubles our clarity again, up to 104 clarity. It's just kind of fun, right? We don't have anything in the slot, and we got another gold. Maybe we could fish for something clarity related. We get 45 health off of that. That's crazy. All right, let's see what we got in here. We can fish if we want. Uh, passing a creature moves a nope. Uh, and snare our next attack. This is actually a pretty massive upgrade, just in terms of our clarity. And our defense and our health. <laughs> and snare on attack. 30% chance. I mean, it's just a straight upgrade, right? We're strong enough, though. Let's fish. Let's see what we got. Nightmare Walker. On equip for every negative point of clarity, this item gains plus one to random other stat. That's cool. I don't know if that was in the game before. I don't recognize it. I love that there's negative clarity builds. Obviously, we're not going to pick it up, but that's pretty cool. Uh, the crow is a massive... No, it's not a massive power spike. Normally, it would be, but we're building negative clarity. Splash damage could also be nice, but we have Insidious. Ensnare adjacent gives us the attack. We don't want it. Deal soul gain as random soul damage. I mean... How can we not just want to nuke the entire screen, right? What do we got? Overwhelm position to strike a careful maneuver. I think a careful maneuver has more scroungers in it. So if we kill anything in here, the whole room should just explode. Wait a minute. What did I miss? Deal soul gain as random soul damage to damaged creatures. Other things need to be damaged. So we'll explode the final room with this with our suffocate. That's what we'll do. Uh, we'll grab more defense. We'll grab... Speed, I guess. I don't know. It seems silly to add one point in clarity now. Um... Maybe we'll fish a little bit. Oh, this is pretty good, right? How do we not? Another 16 clarity, more defense, and more health. I take, I take half explosion damage. I think it's just awesome. Uh, we're going to go this way. Oh, right. We just got rid of our uh, <laughs> our lockdown on the beads. Or on the, yeah, on the beads. I said beads thinking of smite, and just I, I thought I was wrong. Defense. Mm, defense. Heart power. Spawn a frog. No thanks. Oh man, wait a minute. What item do we pick up that gives us? So soul hourglass mixed with that other um, item that we had before that doubles, doubles your soul gain. If there's a way to get crazy soul gain on a uh, negative clarity build, those two items would go nutty. I think we got enough health for now. We'll go more defense. And then we're outy. Alright, so... I think we'll just... 
do our thing here. We're too slow, so we get intimidated. We'll frost root here. Every five turns, randomly transform. Yeah, we don't really need that. We like our double-double clarity. Freeze all creatures. Not really worried about that either. Oh, another intimidating enemy. Uh, we could actually get our... We could frost root both of its enemies, I think, right? Because we could do this. Oh, dang it. We don't have another thing to attack. Yeah, that doesn't count towards our combat combat phases. Because we can't even attack here, right? Oh, that does count as a com what? That's crazy. I didn't realize that either. We'll heal up. And nothing else in this room we really want. So we're definitely going the bird. Because we're gonna kill something and nuke the entire room. Um so we're gonna douse the flame. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. And then we're literally just going to... How many souls do you give us? Five. But that's multiplied by, what, 300%? How much do you give us? 39. All right. So we're going for you. We're going to do this. Move once. Oh, God. It's already happening. <laughs> Oh, man. We just one-shot him down to his health gate. <laughs> we got 1,900 souls. How many souls did we get in that turn? Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's crazy. Can we, like, fish for something else that'll do damage to everything? Come on, give us something fun. After spell use, guaranteed stealth and next pass. So that would be good with uh, Reaper's Heart. If you have a lot of stealth chance, you can guarantee the proc on uh, your Reaper's Heart to get the extra crit damage. So that's pretty solid. Splash damage. I mean, yeah, that would be fun. But Oh, wait a minute. That could be a way to damage things around us. Yeah, we'll try that. So now, how much damage do you do when I hit you, when you explode? Oh, not much because we have the... Okay, so we're going to go this way. And we'll frost root here. Man, everything is just getting marked by the soul hourglass. Oh, I forgot we have to destroy the little totems. We have so many souls. This is crazy. Um, do we even want to heal up? He's going to spawn more enemies. Maybe I should have healed up. Nah, we got more. We got more heals. We're good. And then our double vision will get rid of them. We can leave all these guys low because we don't really care. Our soul damage just basically did the rest of the work for us. Um, I really want to get something else that will help us nuke the whole room. Oh, I guess he's going to die b before we can even do that anyways. All right. We'll just take him out. Um, oh, gosh. All right. Well, so now he's going to get stunned. Well, he would have if we destroyed that early enough, but actually we insta-killed the only totem that was left, so he actually came back into the arena. 
And he is just simply dead. Well, that was a lot of fun. It's been a while since I played this game, but that was a that was a, a fun reintroduction back in. If you are still here, what I'm going to do really quick while we're here is... First, we'll go to the end screen. Uh, show score. Um, newly discovered was just the helmet. All right, so that was the only new item I saw, which I th think... I think there was one more that I thought I hadn't seen before. Yeah, the Nightmare Mask. Um, 4,300 souls collected. That's crazy. So uh, if you're still here, we're just going to go back to the main menu, and I'm just going to see if there's a whole lot of items that are locked behind achievements. Excuse me. So... All right. Uh, wear items of the same set in the head, bodies, legs, and feet. So that's definitely new. That'll probably give us an item that's related to sets. Um, so that'd be two. They said there's ten new items. I saw one. There's one locked behind a, an achievement. Uh, kill a boss without any items equipped. Wow. So transcendence right at the end. So that should be three, because I don't think that was an old one. Four, survive a total of 60 damage in a single nest or swamp dungeon. Survives a total of 60 plus damage in a single nest or swamp dungeon. Okay. Oh, now I lost track. That should be four, right? Um, I already had that. I'm nearly positive. So that's five, six. So you actually have to unlock a bunch of these, which is pretty cool. Pleaded wrong without ever... So that's seven, eight, nine, ten. I must have double counted one. Complete around with only diviner, only brew, only stalker. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So with these sets, if you get like a bunch of items in one set, you get that item that gives you more health and defense for having certain set items. Um, that gives you a lot. That gives you quite a few stats. Uh, this is an old achievement. And then that should be it. Cool. Well, uh, I mean, we didn't see a ton of new items, so I guess there's no... <laughs> I have no choice but to come back and play again at some point and go for some of those achievements. So I'm sure you get another Ring of Pain video in the future, but if you did enjoy the run, please, like I said, leave down below in the comments You know what your favorite part of the update is. If one of these items that I haven't unlocked yet are super busted, super fun, and that you enjoyed a lot, let me know because I'm interested. Um, but thanks again for watching the video, and we'll catch you next time.